This evening, we welcome 10 more legends who have played a significant role in the history that has shaped our breed and AQHA. Over the past 31 years, 233 men, women, and horses have been inducted into the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame. At a dedication ceremony, the class of 2013 permanently entered the hall with the unveiling of artifacts and the presentation of gold lapel pins and crystal medallions. The evening is an emotional one for those who have reached the pinnacle of the American quarter horse industry. For former AQHA Executive Vice President Bill Brewer, the evening's ceremony was the culmination of 38 years of hard work and devotion to AQHA. Well, it's obviously uh, very special to me. AQHA was a better part of my life for 38 years. Know all the horses, knew and saw every one of them, knew and worked with every one of the other inductees and uh, you know they're 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 special people and special horses and they've made a big contribution to uh, to AQHA and our industry and it's just a honor for me to be included with them and and uh, just uh, full of pride to, to be a part of it. Joining Bill in the class of 2013 are horses Philanick, Freckles Playboy, Ladybug's Moon, Miss Oline, and Poco Tivio along with jockey Kenny Hart, Guy Ray Rutland, Greg Whalen, and past AQHA president Frank Merrill. This group accounts for legendary horses both in the arena and on the racetrack, but more important, they made a positive impact in our industry and touched countless lives during their lifetime devoted to the American Quarter Horse. The children of the late Guy Ray Rutland attended the ceremony to represent their father and their family, this year has been an amazing year as they reflect back on their father and his love for the industry and the American Quarter Horse. Very proud and honored that he is being honored by an association that uh, he held very highly in his world. It was great. It was, it was, it was out of this world, really. Yeah, I couldn't imagine anything like this. Kind of tearful. We miss yeah. Daddy. <laughs> yeah been 25 years since he's been gone, but we feel like he's here right now. One of the most incredible moments during the ceremony is the unveiling of artifacts to be displayed permanently in the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum. This year's inductees will be represented well with artifacts such as Kenny Hart's jockey cap and boots, Bill Brewer's briefcase, a gift from AQHA past president Tio Clayberg, and Frank Merrill's Angora Shaps and Sombrero, which were presented to him in Mexico while serving as AQHA president. Being inducted into the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame is truly the pinnacle achievement for members and horses alike. Their lives and contributions to the American quarter horse industry will forever be preserved and displayed for the thousands of visitors who travel to Amarillo to tour the museum. For more information, visit quarterhorsemuseum.com.